welcome to my English channel. Today I'm gonna be answering a tag that I created. Yes, I created a tag for you guys. I was inspired on doing a video of my favorites of 2015, favorites of the whole year. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna create a tag and put like the most interesting questions and like things that I would like to know as well from other YouTubers. I'm welcoming all of you YouTubers to answer this tag as well. So there's 20 questions and I'll be answering them all to you guys. So I really hope you like it and happy 2016 guys. Happy New Year. Woohoo! So question number one, your favorite song of 2015. My favorite song was Cheerleader by Brian Dalton. I love that song and every time it plays I just want to get up wherever I am and just get up and dance. <laughs> Love that song. It was like my song and I played it. I have a problem with playlist I play my playlist a hundred times a day and I cannot get sick of my songs And then I get sick of them all and I create a whole new list and then I listen to it a hundred times again Question number two your favorite drink. So as you guys already know or might not know me I don't drink alcohol at all. I don't drink anything, but my favorite drink of 2015 was a juice called cranapple. I love cranapple. I love cranberry juice. Like when I go out, I usually ask for cranberry because at some places they don't have cranapple or cran raspberry or cran grape. But my favorite one is cranapple. Love, love, love. And of course, number one top drink is coffee. I cannot go through the day without coffee. My first drink of the day is a cup of coffee, a big cup of coffee. Number three, fa your favorite electronic. My favorite electronic, besides my phone, of course everyone I think everyone's favorite electronic these days is your phone my second favorite electronic was my sound link mini by Bose Bose is amazing you guys know that it's like the best sound ever but I keep it with me wherever I go in the house and also when I travel I went to Aruba with G and we brought this to the beach like it's awesome number four favorite trip or vacation I had a lot of amazing trips this year I travel a lot as you guys know uh, for work and I had vacations too. One really fun vacation was with my sister-in-law Easy G. We went to Aruba and it was really fun. It was like a girl's time. We had so much fun at that beautiful island. I loved Aruba and I want to go back. But I also went to Greece which was really nice. But Greece was work but I didn't feel like work because it was so beautiful and so amazing. I went to Morocco as well. It's hard guys to choose. Paris is always amazing but my favorite favorite trip of the year was the vacation that I took in South Africa. I did a safari in South Africa. Me and my husband stayed at the Royal Malawani Hotel, which is so amazing. It's like so private. And we did a safari and like the safari experience was just incredible. You know, the hotel was really luxurious and everything, but the, the experience itself, it was like not luxurious at all. Like you just, you know, at five in the morning, you get on the truck and you go out to see the animals. But it was like the most amazing and most exciting experience that I had. Like the, you know, my heart would beat like really fast just to think like, oh, what am I going to see today? What am I going to see next? I want to see the lions. I want to see the giraffe. I want to see the elephants. The whole experience was just amazing. Number five, Favorite new product. My favorite new product has to be this Prep and Prime. It's a Fix Plus by MAC. This one with cucumber is the best. I started using it recently and like, look at this. I'm almost done with it. I use it before the makeup and after the makeup. And it like before the makeup without anything on, I spray this all over. It leaves, it leaves like my face wet. And then with like less than a minute, my face sucks it all in. And it leaves like, I don't know, like a glow, you know? It's so amazing. And after the makeup too. So I love the Caudalie one of the Boutte, but I'm loving this maybe more. I don't know. It's new, so I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a kind of obsessed with it actually. So yeah, Prep and Prime, Fix Plus, and Cucumber. All right, favorite makeup brush. My favorite makeup brush of the year, uh, I think I'll have to say, no, nah, I don't think I'm sure. The F37, which is the Spotlight Duster by Sigma Beauty. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Sigma brushes. They're like the only ones I use, and Sigma has amazing options and uh, amazing quality brushes. Yeah, this one was my favorite, which came out kind of recently, but since I had it since I got it 
I didn't stop using it. So I feel like it was like the brush of the year for me, like the highlight. I can do bronzer with it, like contour. I can do blush. I could do even like highlight. I could do powder if I wanted to. And the size is just great. Like it just applies really nice and it blends really well at the same time. So love it. So it's the F37 by Sigma. Question number seven favorite makeup palette my favorite makeup palette of the year of course is my palette that i created with sigma beauty the nightlife by camilla coelho which is this beautiful palette right here filled with neutral shadows it it comes with like three different eye looks neutral then colorful and then smoky eye and this is still available at sigma beauty if you want to check out my whole collection i'll have the website down here for you i didn't only create a palette i created a whole collection with lipstick lip liner uh highlighter brushes my top five brushes um and more okay so if you want to check it out i'll leave the link down below question number eight favorite beauty tool and this could be like any kind of tool that you can that you use like you know those machines electronic machines machines or anything but my favorite beauty tool was definitely you guys already know right my beauty blender Ooh, guys I'm obsessed with this I cannot do my makeup without the beauty blender anymore this one day I was in New York shooting and I put my beauty blender in my bag and then I opened my bag and it was not there I went crazy I'm like oh my god I need my beauty blender that day I'm like okay I'm really obsessed with this uh, and I can use it wet or it's it's dirty right now I, I wash it every two days so it's dirty it's with concealer but it's supposed to be pink number nine favorite fragrance I would say is the one I use the most which was Versace yellow diamond it's so amazing oh my god it's so good i'm horrible at describing perfumes but it's sweet it's kind of sweet and citric love so question number 10 favorite touch up product so a product that you love to touch up you cannot leave the house without getting this product for me is the laura mercier secret camouflage concealer i cannot leave the house with this it's this is not the concealer that I actually use on my face uh, when I'm doing the makeup, but it's a concealer that I like to touch up with. It does not add a lot. Like it, it really gives me the highlight that I wanted, but it's the product so thin and natural that it, it just makes it perfect when I touch up. So I like to touch up with the sponge and I usually touch up here down the on the dark circles and around my mouth which is where it makes a difference when you touch up so secret camouflage concealer by laura mercier was my favorite touch up product of the year and favorite hair product my favorite hair product of the year was actually a dry shampoo by Tresemme. I feel like it's the product that I bought the most. I have it in my, my bathroom, I have it somewhere here where I have like hair stuff. I have it everywhere because I use it all the time. Just so like, not even like when my hair, just when my hair is kind of oily to make it, you know, nice. But before I curl my hair, after I straighten it, to give it volume. So it's a great volumizer for your roots and it makes your hair look much cleaner, which is amazing. So I love this dry shampoo. It's a volumizing dry shampoo by Tresemme, which I love. So yeah. So next question, favorite skincare. So my favorite skincare of the year, skincare product of the year, was the Wild Rose Exfoliating Cleanser by Corez, which is Corez, Corez, however you want to pronounce it. Remember guys, when I went to Greece, I went to Greece with this brand, Corez, 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 I don't know how they pronounce it. Their products are all organic and super amazing. And I started using like the whole line and of Wild Rose, and this is what got me like, so addicted this product was definitely a highlight for me and since i started using it i could not exchange for anything else i'm a big skincare person you guys know that and this exfoliating cleanser is just amazing like i feel like it really cleans deeply it's not just like a soft like soap cleanser it's a scrub as well but it it doesn't like irritate my skin i can use this every single day it's a light scrub i already used two of these this year and i already have to buy a new one i'm like at the end of it i cannot 
I can't even get product out of it anymore. And especially like after you take off your makeup and go to the shower, that's when I apply the scrub, okay? So it, that, it like takes off everything that I have on my face, all the chemicals. Next question, favorite makeup remover? So my favorite makeup remover of the year, it's not only 2015, it's like 2014, 13, 12, 11. I think I started using this in 2010 and I never stopped. It's like my favorite. I think it's a lot of people's favorite, right? The Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelless. It's like the only one that I feel like it really takes everything off. Like I use one to take off my face and my eyes. And when I have like a heavy, heavy makeup on like I have right now, sometimes I use two uh, to take off mascara and everything out. But uh, on my everyday, just one takes everything out and it's amazing. And it keeps your skin hydrated. I love it. Now we go to fashion. Your favorite bag of the year. So my favorite bag of the year has to be the ones I use the most and I like the most, right? I got this bag in 2015, a small bag, Chanel boy, um, it's a Chanel boy bag and it's all in suede. It's so beautiful and luxurious. So it's a cross body bag like that. And I got this more towards the end of the year and I've used it so much and it's definitely a bag that was worth the money it was not cheap of course but I used it so much and I it, it like goes with everything and I've been using it still a lot and I am gonna use it a lot my favorite small bag of the year was this one uh, the Chanel boy and my favorite, of course I have to show two. It's this one by Ralph Lauren. A lot of people think it's a backpack, but it's not a backpack. You can use it like the long string or with the smaller one like that. But it's a Ralph Lauren, beautiful bag, so chic and so versatile. The color is amazing. Okay, my favorite accessory. My favorite accessories I'm wearing it now are these pearl rings that I have on now. So there, there's two of them, I can either wear them like this on two different fingers or like this which is my favorite i put both of them together look how pretty they are i wore this so much this year and this is by sarah fisher i'm gonna leave the uh their instagram account here for you guys so you can check it out she has amazing amazing things uh yeah so this was my favorite accessory my favorite sunglass of the year my favorite sunglass of the year was not a sunglass that i wore throughout the whole year that i wore the most actually the one that I wore the most was like a black ray-ban aviator uh, that i travel with a lot but my favorite one like that i liked the most throughout the year was this Fendi one which is called I think it's called Paradise yeah Paradise I think but it's so chic and this is a type of sunglass that like makes your outfit um, and it's just so like sophisticated and the color everything about it the the shape of it the cat I love it so it was my favorite sunglass my favorite buy of the year Fendi my favorite shoe of the year. My favorite shoe of the year has to be my Stuart Weitzman. Wait, where is it? Which is the this traditional one. Super long, high knee, high knee boots that I wore so much. I wore it a lot in the beginning of the year and I'm wearing, still wearing it a lot now, since fall actually. Stuart Weitzman is famous for the, their boots, right? And their boots are amazing, super comfortable. It's one of the reasons I love it and I wear so much for like a lot of occasions because it's super comfortable. Like the heel is really good, it's a high heel, but it's very comfortable. The front of it is a bit rounded and it's a high knee, it goes up to your leg and it's all like tight in your leg. Leg. I have a problem with boots that are like loose on my leg. I hate it and this is just looks so sexy and so beautiful I have the not satisfied, you know, I got the gray one and then I got the black one because it's so perfect So now I have two pairs, but this is the one that I wear the most this color is super versatile It looks great. It's a bit dirty. I have to clean it But um, this was my favorite shoe of the year the one I wore the most favorite gift of the year So I got a lot of nice gifts especially 
from you know from brands from um, beauty and fashion brands but also I got a lot of amazing gifts from my husband recently of course Christmas he gave me gifts that I loved he gave me three pair of shoes but my favorite gift throughout the whole year was now Christmas which is these boots it was not even a high heel shoe it was this boot I was obsessed with it and I couldn't find it there wasn't a lot left and he somehow got it he found my size and it's these Givenchy boots that I love I'm obsessed with it I didn't wear it yet but I'm obsessed with it and I'm gonna I know I'm gonna wear this a lot throughout my everyday to travel uh, it's just so beautiful unique and cool like it's such a cool fashionista shoe um, and I'm gonna wear it a lot so this is my favorite gift of the year and it was a nice gift. Thank you, husband. Favorite furniture store. I put this question there because I know a lot of girls like to decorate, right? And I love to decorate. And this year, you know, I decorated my new house. We're almost done with the decorations. I went to a lot of furniture stores this year and I searched a lot online too. I put this question there because I would love to know from you guys too, like what was your favorite furniture store this year? But my favorite store this year was actually a store that I got a lot of stuff most of the stuff from my house are from them which is mitchell gold bob williams i always say mitchell mitchell gold <laughs> but it's mitchell gold bob williams and they're amazing they're super modern i feel like i could decorate my whole house with them but i got like a lot of statement pieces there my cage that's on my living room especially it's like my favorite piece in my house it's like a cage it's a chair that's a cage it's so beautiful and unique and i got it there and like my sofa too like that i love anyways it's such a nice store but i would love to know where you guys like to shop as well for furniture because I'm still decorating. Last question, your favorite memory of the year? My favorite memory of the year, um, it's a hard question for me because I feel like I had such amazing memories throughout this year of 2015. It's even hard for me to kind of like choose the most special one. Like my trip to South Africa, like I mentioned with my husband, we got like a almost a two week vacation. We went to uh, Mauritius Island and went, we did safari in South Africa. That was really amazing. And the, the moments that I spend with my husband, those are the most special ones. I know we work together all the time but we're always like we're always together but we're always working right so like when we spend quality time together those are the most special moments for me and of course the moments too that I spend with my mom um, those are the most unforgettable with family I would say but with my mom and my husband those are the most special and forgettable moments that I have and I'm thankful that this year I got to spend I worked a lot I was never home but I got to spend a lot of time with family with my uh, siblings my mom my my husband and his family so I'm just really thankful for that but my most special moment professionally was actually being invited to see the Dior Haute Couture show in Paris the past June. Was it June or July? June or July, I'm lost now. That was really amazing because everything started for me at Dior, right? I started working at Dior back in 2008. I worked with them at Macy's selling their makeup at a department store Macy's and then ha that's how I started on YouTube So I feel like everything started with Dior and today, you know to be invited to the show to sit a front row and watch the show and wear the full look for me is just priceless so yeah that was a highlight memory of my year so yeah I'm not gonna get emotional <laughs> so yeah guys this was my tag that I created with a lot of love for you guys I really hope you liked it and I would love to get you guys answering those questions for me too I would love to know I'm actually gonna leave the questions on my blog and I would love for you to answer them for me too okay so I really hope you liked the video I hope that you have an amazing year I hope that we all have an amazing year together thank you again I can not thank you guys enough for all the love and support that you guys uh, send through you know social medias here on YouTube my blog uh, I really appreciate 
you guys so much so thank you thank you thank you for being with me in 2015 and i hope that you are again in 2016 so yeah really hope you like the video i'm gonna stop talking because i talked a lot i know i need to drink my cran apple juice because i'm thirsty <laughs> and before we go i want to teach you a portuguese word of course today i'm gonna teach you how to say best moments because today i'm talking about the best moments and things about the past year so best moments in portuguese you say melhores momentos repeat with me melhores momentos i really hope you like the video please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you haven't i'll see you next time stay beautiful mm.